You got your budget set for 2024 yet? No? Okay, listen. It doesn't matter if you're watching this video in 2024, 2025, or, or 2030. What I'm about to give y'all in this video is going to change your mind forever when it comes to money. Okay? So let's let's get right into it. A budget does not mean restriction all the time. A budget just means properly managing the type of money that you have coming in so you can appropriately pay for what you got going out. Y'all stop falling for the old banana in a tailpipe trick. Do not be fooled. What you see on social media is not real. Stop believing that you are behind because you don't drive an AMG or you don't live in a $4,000 a month downtown condo. Most of the people that you see living these luxury lifestyles, not most, some, they don't really live that life. They are overextended. They are begging and borrowing, robbing Peter to pay Paul. They are going to sleep at night on an air mattress because they live in the $4,000 a month condo that they really can't afford and they are stressed out stressed baby a lot of those women are not skinny because they are living clean and eating well they stressed behind some money and they can't keep no weight on the the fellas that you see balling out of control living good driving good smelling good they got on all the freshest they are up to their receding hairlines in debt and i don't want that for you okay once we look and we see what we are bringing home, then we can comfortably set how much we can send out. If you are making $3,000 a month, we are not gonna live on 3,000. We really don't even need to live on 25. You really need to comfortably be able to live on about 40 to 50% of your income. Now I know in 2024 that is nearly impossible ash that would mean that i would only be able to have fifteen hundred dollars for rent car no insurance da, da, da. you right you right so what it sounds like to me you got one or two choices either a you can go make some money or b you can be realistic and say it's not time for you to leave from your mama's house yet you can be realistic and say you need a roommate you can be realistic and say, you need to keep that cash car, that car that's already paid for. It ain't time to pick up no car note. Now I know I said at the beginning of this video, but Ash, you told me that a budget isn't me living on restrictions. Is it a restriction if it's what you can afford or is it being realistic? Cause we ain't got it, okay? You have to make sure that you take baby steps. You have to walk before you can run. We cannot go and buy the, the AMG when we can't even afford to put gas in the Honda. Listen, I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm just being realistic. We are going to budget the money that we have coming in, okay? So after you have been realistic and after you have done an overview of the income, then we're going to set our expenses. And that's when you have to make some real life decisions. You can't move, it's not time for the big car. No, you can't buy the bag, that's okay. We are going to manage what we have properly based on the monies that we have coming in. So if you make 3,000 and we're gonna live off of 1,500, or I'll even say 2,000 in the realistic world, then you need to find a way to live on the 2,000. You need to get a roommate if you have to live alone. If you still have to live at home with your mom, your dad, that's okay. You need to be okay with living below your means. Because as we progress in our job and as we get additional raises, as you finish that degree and you go and get the real, real job, then you can elevate your lifestyle. And even once we get to the life that we want and the life that we need, with every raise, you're not going to go out and elevate again. 
that's how you never see an increase okay so living inside of your budget and setting a budget according to what we make instead of trying to make money based on how we want to live is the proper way proper way to set a budget okay if you already are in the thick of things you already have the job but you already got the place and the car note you already have the bills coming in then what you need to do to see if you are living in an adequate or an appropriate budget is you need to sit down and do an audit of all of your accounts it is 2024 you should have a bank account for your bills you should have a bank account for all your income there is no reason why you should not have some kind of electronic way to track your spending. So if you have already surpassed moving out, getting the place, getting the car, and you're like, okay, this is not the life that I want to live. I want to create a budget that will allow me to create some financial freedom for myself. I applaud you because sometimes we make mistakes, but then we have to fix those mistakes, right? Right. So what we're going to do in order to repair what is already being broken or done incorrectly, you're going to sit down and look at the last three months of your spending. If you have Bank of America, Regions, if you have Wells Fargo, simply print out the last three months of statements. Go through and write down, because I'm old school. I know that there's a way to do this on QuickBooks, I'm sure there's a way to do this on an Excel spreadsheet. Excel spreadsheets give me hives, baby. I don't know how to work that thing. But taking your time to walk through your statement, you'll retain the information better. So walking through your statement and seeing that your rent is this amount. The average water bill, light bill was this amount. Your cell phone bill, your insurance, car and life insurance. Y'all got life insurance? Oh, okay your car note your gas your groceries don't take all of your fun out of your budget put it in an entertainment budget if you know you like to go out and eat with the homegirls once a month if you know once a month you meet up with the homeboys and shoot pool that's cool put it in your budget now once you have gone through all three months of statements you have a pretty good overview of how you spend your money the reality is I will never tell anybody to not enjoy life, to not treat yourself. Matter of fact, I believe in treating yourself. If you work hard and you are handling your business, I believe you should reward yourself. But until we get to the point to where we have a surplus of monies, we've got to manage what we have properly. And if we want to remove some of that stress from us about worrying about money, we have to live below our means. So after you audit all of your expenses, you can't change your rent unless you're going to move into a less expensive place. You can't change your car notes unless you're going to downgrade in car. And I am not against that. Matter of fact, I encourage that. If you are really ready to make some extreme changes in your life so you can get some extreme changes and some extreme results, Show me how hard you're willing to work. Guys, tell me what extreme measures you have taken to save money. If you think about it, when we decide to lose weight, we extremely change how we eat, how we work out. When we have decided we're going to go on this vacation, you'll get up every day and hustle and work your regular nine to five plus hustle on the side to get the vacation money up, right? So why not put that same effort into changing your financial future? Now, the trick of it all is to learn how to make your money make you money, okay? So in this video, I will show you how I allow my money to pay me money so that I can get some of my extras, so I can get some of my treats for myself. You should watch that next. But setting a budget is important to your financial health, okay? So I hope you take this information, go apply it immediately. It's timeless. And I will see you guys on the next video. Hi guys, bye guys, y'all have a good day.